Hi boys and girls, Goofy Dog here with GuitarGear.org. Today we're going to talk about attenuators and how valuable a tool an attenuator can be. I opened, I opened up with that segment where I was playing some chords with my amp pretty much wide open. Well, admittedly, it was actually slightly attenuated only because I didn't want to reach behind the unit where the bypass and attenuate switch is, uh, so I just stuck it on its lowest setting, which was still really loud. So anyway, if you could notice in the video, I've got some built-in noise reduction in the, in the video camera. So the difference in guitar volume between low attenuation and high attenuation is actually not that much. But I hope you could tell that when my wife was telling me to turn down, she was actually speaking at the top of her lungs. It was really, really loud. So anyway, why don't, why don't I actually just take the, the amp all the way back up by attenuating just very little. Sorry for the noise, I've got some noisy power tubes that get uh, scratchy when pushed. Um, anyway, let's, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate how, uh, how loud it is by trying to actually talk over the guitar signal. Here we go. studio um, even in some clubs anyway let me uh, take it all the way back down again to the variable mode and that's about 30 DB down and I'll demonstrate uh, how I've still got uh, the amp cranked up but at a much more manageable volume so uh, here we go so as you can see the volume amp, the, the volume of the amp is way down and I'm easily able to talk over the uh, volume Yeah, sorry I couldn't quite play with how when I was talking, but uh, you kind of get the picture here. Okay, so what did you just witness? Or more precisely, what's the point of an attenuator, which is actually the point of this video? To answer that question, let's back up a bit and look at an amp, or more specifically, an overdriven amp. Now some amps, especially vintage amps, like the Marshall JTM 45 or Plexi 50, and even vintage style clones out there, just don't get the, into their overdrive sweet spot until they're cranked up and both preamp and power tubes are clipping at the same time. Unfortunately, to get them to that sweet spot, the resulting volume is way too loud for most applications. Now I suppose you can argue that that's where fuzz, distortion, and overdrive pedals come into play, but having played several vintage Marshalls and, and Marshall clones, I can attest to the absolute tonal magic that happens when these amps are cranked. When both preamp and power tubes are clipping with these amps, at least to me, there's no other tone or feeling like it. Now some pedals do come close, but then again, pedals are an electronic reproduction, not the real thing. Now don't get me wrong, I use overdrive pedals a lot because they provide voicings that my amps just can't produce, so they do have their place in my tonal palette, and I've got a bunch of them. But when I want that cranked up amp tone, nothing beats cranking up my amp. So this is where an attenuator is so valuable. It allows me to get my preamp and power tubes to their saturation points where my amp will really sing. Okay, so that kind of leads into this issue where I know that there are folks out there that say to just crank up your preamp and control your output with your master volume. But that's only half the tonal equation for a cranked up tone. So, why don't we make a comparison? Okay, so here I've got my volume knob 
cranked up all the way and my master way down. It, about, it matches about the volume that uh, uh, I had with the uh, amp fully attenuated, um, but uh, with the master all the way up. So uh, I'm going to play a real simple chord progression, and then right after that, I'll reset up the amp uh, to be fully cranked up and full attenuation, so you can kind of hear the difference. So here's the progression. Okay, now I'm going to set up the, the amp to be fully attenuated uh, and actually just switch it back on, so be back in the flash. Now could you tell the difference? In this second clip, there's a lot more content that the power tubes contribute to the overall tone. And that's the point of the attenuator. It allows you to get both your preamp and power tubes working, but at output volumes that are much more reasonable. So if you're playing in a small club or even in a church, or like me, in my garage slash studio late at night, where lower volume is really important, but being able to crank up your amp, an attenuator is a, is a lifesaver. Now, as you can see here, I'm using my trusty and fantastic Aerocom Power Rocks attenuator, the PRX150 Pro. In my next video, I'll go over the features of this unit and why major guitar heroes like Joe Satriani and Doug Doppler have purchased this unit. So for now, ciao baby and rock on! <laughs>